We first fell in love with our next guest as Blanca, the house mother with a heart of gold on the groundbreaking hit FX show Pose. Please welcome MJ Rodriguez. Hey, hi, hi, MJ. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm so excited that you're here. How are you doing? And happy Cinco de Mayo. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'm doing good. I can't complain. I'm excited. I'm, I'm thriving. I'm happy. Everything's good, girls. You look glowy, too. You yes. look Thanks. absolutely gorgeous as <laughs> always. SJ, the last time you were here on The Real, you actually talked about liking nerdy guys, and I thought that was so interesting. Well, now I heard that you are off the market and in a relationship, so do tell us everything. How did the two of you meet? Is he a nerdy guy? Yes, indeed. Yes, I'm in a new relationship. Um... And yes, he's a little bit nerdy, but I love it. He's a writer. He's amazing. His name is Steven, and I'm so in love with him. It's it's crazy how how in love I am with him. Um, typical love story, and I'm so thankful for him. <laughs> when you say typical, how so? Uh, I mean, so he handsome. just. Uh, I just feel like he just lifts me up whenever I need it. He's strong. He makes me feel protected. It's just all of those things that come in one. I'm just, I love him. Uh, I love that. Is it true that the two of you are now working together? You said he's a writer, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a writer, and he's been working on a couple of projects. We've been working together on one specifically that I'm just like, come on here, baby. Like, we we making this together. We're finally making that step. And, you know, I've been always wanting to do, like, action slash, like, drama, thriller films. And he's he loves writing within that level, and I'm, I'm very here That's for so it. so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm so exciting. excited. Uh, I'm so excited for you. And speaking of creativity, fans want music and an album from you. So when will you deliver us some music, please? I'm working on it right now, y'all. It's, you know, I'm really happy about it. Um, it's possibly going to be coming out sooner than later. I've been, like, holding off on people. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, my fans out there. I love y'all. I'm just <laughs> working hard to make sure I get something out there soon. But um, it's looking up. I'm working with some great great people. Um, I'm trying to keep them under the cuff because I don't want to say nothing just yet, but I'm really, really, I'm really happy about it. Uh, MJ, congratulations on an amazing premiere. We all just love Blanca so much. And one of the things I really respect about you, MJ, is your leadership and your activism. You have always been a leader for the trans community. And in fact, you've actually been featured on the upcoming cover of Entertainment Weekly's Pride issue which of course is on stands May 14th. Now with the current really legislative attack that's going on in the trans community right now, what resources and organizations do you think we all need to engage with in order to combat the oppression that's going on right now against our trans brothers and sisters? I mean, I think the main important one right now that I've been focusing on is Clinton. They are really, really helping when it comes to just shedding light on trans youth and making sure that they're protected. They also are a suicide hotline too. So they make sure that within this time of legislation when we're under attack constantly, especially the youth, they're the ones that are really under attack right now. Um, they can actually go to GLSEN and have a space to really hash out their emotions while this is going on. So GLSEN is definitely the one to look to, for sure. Oh, all right, GLSEN. Got it. We can't believe Pose is in its third and final season. I was there since season one. I don't want to talk about this, but it has to be talked about. Why did the team decide that this is the right time to conclude these epic stories? I think mainly because of COVID. I mean, there's been so many mm -hmm. things that have been happening. A lot of jobs have been lost in COVID, and it hasn't been lost upon just one group of people. It's everybody. So um, I think that's one of the main reasons. And also, we also tie the knot with the third season. I think it's a conglomeration of both, right? It's definitely COVID, but it's also, we've come to this great, great standpoint of Pose, and there's other things that could possibly happen, but we want to send it right here, because it's, I feel like it's a beautiful ending. Dope. Everybody obviously loves Pose. Jeannie's a huge fan. I, I, I think you're incredible on the show. What have you Thank learned you. throughout this process? What have you learned about yourself from playing Blanca? Well, I'll tell y'all this. Um, I was a girl who was scared, who didn't have as much confidence. I had confidence. I'm not going to say I didn't have none. I had confidence, but I didn't have enough when it came to the acting realm and what I was capable of first season or second season. 
And now, especially from the show and looking at Blanca, because Blanca is actually inspiration to me too. You know, I look up to her. Um, I've learned to be a leader and I, I'm kind of glad that I'm feeling it right now because I have no problem with doing it. Um, I know my worth. I know how important I am to a lot of these young ones out here. And it feels good. I'm, I'm excited with the position that I'm finally, I feel like I deserve and I'm getting. And yes. so are we, so are we. We love that you're coming into your power. But we have a clip of you in action on Pose, so let's check it out. Okay. I miss this, y'all. It's been a while since we've been together like this. Everybody's been doing their own thing. Oh, Lord, I have speech coming on, y'all. It is true. All of my best memories are with y'all, especially when we competing at the balls. Ain't nobody got time for that no more. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should make time. I'm thinking about bringing the House of Evangelista back at the summer solstice ball. Is this about your legacy? No. It's about our legacy. Yes, we love that, MJ. So cool. Now, listen, as much as we hate to see uh, Pose go, you guys wrapped actually back in March. Now, keep it all the way real with us, girl. Did you take any keepsakes or mementos after you guys wrapped filming? Um, so I was going to try to cop them, but I couldn't because they had already been gone. And little did I know, at the end of the season, Jenna Mock and Steven, they gave me uh, Blanca's mother's cookbook and that big Evangelista flag. And I was like, yes, this is it right here. This is what I definitely want to have as a memento to like the work that we've done, the amazing stuff that we've done as a cast, the love that I've been embarking on and the love that I've given with each and every one of the cast, that flag right there showed everything. So, so I'm glad wow. I caught that. MJ, you guys are certainly going out on top. Thank you so much for hanging out and chatting with us today. Pose airs on Sunday nights at 10 on FX Now.